Hey, this is Toe 2 Bravo, and we're going to do another video on the 2022 Can-Am Riker 900 Ace today. Uh, we are going to replace the stock exhaust with a silver turbo exhaust, and uh, we're going to take you along for the ride. should be pretty easy. First thing we're going to do is we're going to do a sound bite or a sound comparison with the stock exhaust. We're going to get up real nice and close with that so we can do a comparison piece later on in the video. Enough yapping. Let's get started. as you can see we've got the bike up on the ramps uh, the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to get something to hold up the OEM muffler so it doesn't smash onto the ground all right <clears throat> we have our jack in place there holding up the, uh, the exhaust now we're going to transition onto this bolt I'm going to show you guys here real quick and we'll go from there. There's our first bolt that we're going to remove. That's on the top of the exhaust to the frame of the bike. We're going to remove that and then we'll move on down to the springs. We'll actually film the springs. I'm not going to show you the, the bolt here. Here's the location, exhaust, straight in. There's your bolt. All right, we'll be right back. All right, we've got the bolt loose. And we got it out. There you go. And there's the exhaust. So next is the springs. All right. Let's try to get these springs out next. We'll see what happens. I don't know if I have enough ass to do this. We'll see. one and hold on a second try not to lose the muffler there's two all right let's see if we can lower this with that Causing too much havoc here. There we go. All right, we'll try to get a good shot of this. Um, let's go ahead and make sure our gaskets there. It is. And let's put, what do you say, at least one of these in. All right, maybe, I don't know. I don't know what the process should be. Um, maybe I need to hold it up first. That might be the best best path there let's go ahead and do that in that order and we'll go from there so let's move the camera view back just there try to get you guys in there and involved it's tough damn one-man crew but I think I think we can get this going so let's feed this up here make sure we're lined up over here we don't want to knock the donut off their donuts on we're up in the hole here we got it started at least so there you go <clears throat> So, so got to hold one and the other now. So, I think if I go over here, well, we're going to have to use the, the 
jaws of life here. Wow, very little room here. Hopefully you guys are catching some of this. I think I'll review, re re reverse. The camera view, maybe you guys will get some of that. I'm hoping. You have one removable baffle on this particular silver turbo exhaust. And we have removed that one baffle. I will insert a picture of that for you guys to check out. But next step, my friends, is to get these springs on. That's where we are transitioning to next. So, <clears throat> let's, let's do that. Hook this and hopefully with a little luck and some ass behind it and get that on. <laughs> Now you know why they suggest that when you plan on doing this, you buy the uh, Amazon spring puller gadget. So before you do this, let me be a lesson and pay your nine or ten bucks for your for your spring puller, or. Use a piece of 550 cord. All right, we're back, and I'm sorry for that, but whew, we got both on. So what I, what I ended up doing was for the stubborn one here, is I hooked it on the muffler end, and I uh, pulled it forward with the uh, vice grips, and that was a lot easier to do push power, push uh, momentum power, than pull. And we were able to clip it. And then this side, we did the same thing with the string. So the string worked out. So let's go out and uh, check all the bolts and start it up and see what it sounds like without the baffle. Now the baffle's been removed from here, this end here. Because on this, this particular silver turbo muffler, there's only one uh, baffle you can remove. So this will be without the baffle. Yeah. got to hear the silver turbo and the OEM big difference that's without the baffle so we're gonna go ahead and take it out on, on a ride see what it sounds like uh, under some rpms we can see if it's too loud if we need to reverse everything and put the uh, baffle in this one or not so we'll be right back we're gonna take you guys along for the ride
baffle. This is what the baffle looks like. Right here, yeah, you can see through there. So there's our baffle. I'm gonna be honest, that was really, it sounded good at low RPMs, but at high RPMs, I had a, a weird vibration or a weird, wasn't the vibration, I had a weird high pitched noise that I picked up through my helmet. Just seemed like it was a little much. We're gonna go ahead and review the footage in a minute. And then I think we're gonna put it up, put this on, take it for another ride and compare it. We'll make a decision. All right, here we are. We've got the baffle reinstalled. So let's go ahead and fire it up and see what it sounds like with, with the baffle. Toe 2 Bravo and we're going to go ahead and wrap up this video. Uh, the video today was supposed to be ultimately the silver uh, turbo exhaust installed on the bike and that's what I was going to run and uh, obviously that's not where we're at. We're back with the OEM exhaust back on the bike. The reason for that is that with the baffle and without the baffle uh, at speed anything over you know, 15 miles an hour. At idle, it sounded fantastic, but anything higher than that, anything at speed, created such a high-frequency noise that it really bothered both of my ears uh, and made the ride really unpleasant. I mean, if I was going to run that exhaust, I would run hearing protection uh, along with my helmet. Uh, that's how bad it affected me. It was, it was very unpleasant. And if you watch the video, you'll see I mentioned that on one of the uh, test rides when I came back. I I made a point about talking about, uh, I made a point of uh, mentioning that. So we ended up back with the uh, OEM exhaust. Uh, the silver exhaust did not work out for Your me. Your mileage might be different. So don't take uh, my experience as the exhaust is no good because that's not the point at all. It just didn't work out for me. Uh, and I was in the army for 20 years and my ears were abused. So it could just be me. So I'm back to the OEM. Uh, I do still have the uh, silver exhaust. I don't think you can return it. I think the return policy is pretty solid uh, in the way that you can't return it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to come up with uh, maybe a couple universal uh, baffles. I've seen a few on Amazon in some other places. Uh, I think I would need an inch and three quarter uh, baffle to fit into the uh, to the exhaust pipe. So I'm going to look around for a couple uh, affordable uh, generic or universal baffles and uh, see if we can't put them in there and, and maybe salvage that exhaust. Uh, the pros for the silver turbo exhaust before we uh, wrap it up, there were some pros. It's about half the way to the OEM exhaust. Uh, the appearance is fantastic. Uh, it's much cleaner look than this in my opinion. Um, the YouTube channel for silver exhausts, uh, they did a dyno and uh, they claim that they had a five horsepower increase uh, utilizing their exhaust. So there are pros to it. The cons for me was just the frequency that it, that it created at speed was uh, just very annoying and unpleasant for my ears. So we're back to OEM. Just like to be transparent here. And if I'm going to review a product, you know, I like to give out uh, the true data. So this is Toe 2 Bravo. We're back to OEM. I appreciate you guys watching. Like, subscribe. And until yeah. I see you out on the road again, thanks for watching.